Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you woo. Welcome back to the Beta Plan, playing as Duke Carmen Badberger, Duke of Meissen and Thuringia, Lord of Thuringen, Plauen, Meissen, and Weimar, and of course, Erfurt. His lovely wife, Duchess of Westphalia, who immediately votes for him to be the heir of the empire and all of a sudden we are again in the number one spot so what have i done i have invited this man for carousing yes he supports us now but that's very tenuously so i invited for him for carousing moreover i've invited other people that vote for instance for this man the duke of savoy i've invited him himself you never know and the duke of modena to come for carousing See if we can make a few friends. I have uh, not invited this time the Duke of Bohemia. I was not so sure if that would be a wise idea to do so. So, for the moment, not. He comes. He doesn't come. He does come. Alright, Zavoy himself comes as well as Luxembourg. Should I invite Bohemia or not? Yes, let's invite Bohemia as well. He's a drunkard. I'm sure he will want to participate. Even if he's a bit older. I should have asked this man to come. I invite to carousing. Because he's the heir. Let's do that as well. Let's see if, if one of them bites. Ah, he doesn't accept it. Free prestige lost. Too bad. And by the way, our new ambition is to become exalted among men. 2,000 prestige. But I think that... Did I invite you? I want to invite him. Oh, that is free prestige down the drain for nothing. We should gain 20 prestige from holding the fest. So more or less all the invitation that you... The, the people that say no. Well, you gain that back by having that thing come... By completing the fest. But apparently all the people that else want to come, they don't come. So that's a bit unfortunate, but alright. Such is apparently the way... The county of Brandenburg has changed its culture to mm, German. Very good. I could also invite this man, but I don't think he ever will want to accept me. Yeah, he's furious. Declared war. Usurped title. Even if we would become friends, he would still be angry with me and not vote for me. That's for certain. And I don't want to invite the Duke of Bar. He's not voting for me, but oh, he's kind of old. Under my guidance, my young son Popo is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Skilled fighter. Very good. Very good indeed. What do the new people actually think of my lovely wife who is in power? They like her a lot. Female ruler, yes, they don't like that, but that's about everything. He doesn't mind her at all. I think that this change has been for the better. Yes, indeed, they all love her. What is it that makes people love her so much? Seneschal, Marshal, she ju she's just done excellent, so it seems. Yeah, she's just doing well, honored me, she she's just smart. Of course my wife is smart. She's my wife. Uh, my liege, as you no doubt well know, I and those of your vows who are part of my faction are your loyal supporters. To show our devotion, we send you a distributor of gold and silver, signed Count Ditto of Lausitz. Excellent. Twenty old gained. And, uh, well, we do need... 250 gold by 211 because we've taken out a loan in the end we didn't need it i did use quite a bit of money in order to rebuild this uh trade post over here so hench we did lose some money but yeah look at it all of these counties are now ours <laughs> and we have plus two vassals which is in one faction the tradition faction who is happy with me? Isn't it all good? It's all gravy. Um, let this son be teached by him because he's really not bad. He really isn't. So let's do that. <gasps> Codebolt is blinded. How the heck did that happen? Whereas Ferdinand is strong. Wow, but Godobolt is blind. 
There is actually a mod, by the way, that updates the child portraits to also give, for instance, a scarf across their eyes if they are blind. That I like, but they also give them uh, hairdressers like adults a little too soon for my liking, so... Uh, your guests have arrived for a private feast that you have arranged. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Let's get it started! Let's get it started, oh. Let's get it started. Why do I keep singing when I... When I, I can't even do it by full voice because I'm recording this one quite late. But, uh, yeah. That, that's what you came for. You're my best friend! Alright. We have now gained a friend in Luxembourg. That will be very good for us. Let's wait for that to take an effect. What is our income, by the way, now? E plus 11. Really good. Well, that was fun. 20 prestige. So, you are now my friend, right? Still doesn't show. I thought it was... No, the Duke of Savoy has become my friend. Does he vote for me, though? No, he votes for himself, unfortunately. Uh, too bad. I really thought it said the portrait of the King of Luxembourg. Hmm. Who are voting for me? Lombardy? Luxembourg still and Westphalia. Alright. Alright. Uh, you know what? We have enough money income. Invited Chancellor to court. Let's hope this is a really, really good one. 15. Good enough. Wait until he gets the uh, desire to become the Chancellor. He will get 16. And then we can start and talk to people. Ooh. For coronation. Of course I attend. Of course I attend. Attending coronation and carousing. Yes, he's... he's Happy with me, but it all are all temporary bonuses. Should the Emperor die now, this man will get to the throne. I just... I couldn't invite the Duke of Bavaria because he already had recent carousing, unfortunately, in effect. Which is what was causing that issue. He wants to become the Chancellor. Um, but he doesn't have it yet as an ambition, so for a moment give him a chance. That actually gained him also a point. I, Arnold of the Von Andex dynasty, and with the blessing of Jesus, do hereby rightfully assume the throne of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. I do love this flag. Uh, long live Grand Duke Arnold. This will be quite a celebration. There weren't many portals there. Didn't a lot of people come? To our good host, Duke Arnold, long may he reign. He is indeed... The Duchy of Switzerland. He suspected that he might be at the coronation feast, and sure enough, there Grand Duke Arnold is, laughing and carrying on. You despise the man, and with a few drinks in you, it occurs to you to challenge him to a duel right here, right now. Why would I despise him? The hell? Oh, Lord Askio is... I thought it was him. I despise this man. <gasps> yes, I despise him a lot. I took his lands. Grand Duke was furious at both of us for daring to ask him for doing all both ordering us out of the feast. We left more bitter at the Grand Duke than at each other. Uh oh. Lose 20 prestige anyways and he likes me a little less. That is unfortunate. Because if I would have killed him well that was one man less with a claim on my titles. To our good host long may he reign. Oh no. That was odd. Haven't we be already been thrown out? Well, the Grand Duke supports us again. I'm not gonna question it. This is new. 
an event by the mod. Let's read it. Rulers throughout the Holy Roman Empire are pleased with the ruling Kaiser Heine has made in his... Sorry. With the rulings Kaiser Heine has made in his quarters of late. It's just and fair, they say. And this bodes well for the future of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Decadence reduced by one. Imperial decadence. Oh, it's between between ten and twenty. Then I think that that mean, that number means there in the top, like after decadence. Oh, he's also preparing a small feast. He's also a socializer. I actually wonder if we can get the socializer ability anyways, because we already took falconer. But I don't mind having falconer. Yes, free diplomacy would have been good, but plus one martial, plus one intrigue, plus one diplomacy, not bad. And we already gain now plus two diplomacy on dedicated crowder and family patriarch is also giving us plus one diplomacy. That's why it's never really bad to switch between a few things. If I would now, for instance, go down the strategist line, I would probably gain plus two martial until I die. It's really not a bad idea. And we are only 29. Huh? Take that into account. We are only 29. We are the first in the line to inherit. Um, okay, he's my chancellor. Too bad that you didn't take the ambition for it. But you are my chancellor right now. It's up to you to keep this man voting for me. Alright. Your job. Can we already invite new people to carousing? Should actually look at that. Where is it? Recent carousing? February. Until next year. I felt as if it was already a long, long time ago. I'm just craving a beer. That doesn't make me a drunkard now, does it? I'm not a drunkard. Here, can prove it. Don't have the, um, <laughs> the trait. This man is a drunkard. Or he was. Oh, I didn't even know you could get rid of that. Apparently you can get rid of the drunkard trait, but he was a drunkard. What he is, though, is he's excommunicated. Uh, you guys have made it up. And here is the silver tongue, by the way, that I talked about. Plus one intrigue, plus one diplomacy. Whereas my daughter has... This powerful voice. I like these new traits. I like them a lot. This really makes... That, that's really cool. Diversifies the people. Fortunately, we don't have yet such a trait running in the family. We have now a random nephew that is strong, so we might want to give him Altmark later on, but uh, yeah. When I'm in here. Wait, when? His son owns Nordgau. How the heck did that happen? His mother is not... Not a countess? The hell? He's all absent-minded. Which isn't really, really bad. But isn't really good. This erratic character was born with a scattered-brained temperament. They tend to forget things easily, get distracted too easily, or both. This behavior may be in daring to some, but to others it is an annoyance. How did you... How did you inherit this? Oh, because the middle line here kind of got screwed over. Etihonen is completely killed. Great. <laughs> they murdered out their own line. Good job. Also, you murdered him, and apparently that caused, well, this line to end, and then the first in line was, yeah, this guy. <laughs> because this apparently is ignatic kinetic, and it is indeed. Well then. Not. Popo gains one diplomacy, Popo gains one diplomacy. And he's always gonna get charitable. Mm, that's not good, because it lowers his stewardship. I don't like charitable anymore. Normally it gives you plus three, yeah, normal. In vanilla CK2, it gives you plus 3 diplomacy. Here it's kind of bad. 
Though it does give Vassal PM plus 10, so it's still like, because every diplomacy gives you... Point gives you... Plus 2 or plus 3 to your uh, personal diplomacy score. And then state diplomacy, yeah. So it, it, it's someone in there, but... Uh, duh. Oh, we'll take it. He has become a quite a strong diplomacy character, though, Popo Badenberger. We might, just before the end, just like I did with my own self, give him to somebody else for education and be make him actually into Grey Eminence. Instead of a brilliant strategist. Huh? Twenty-nine. I, I understand this marriage. I will accept it. My friend. That should give you another plus ten bonus with me. A lot of marriage. Plus ten. I am still in the lead. But uh, it's a tenuous lead at best. Wait. Am I looking so much through things? Yeah, I'm looking so much through things that are not even a year ahead. I'm so sorry. I just like watching around in CK2 when you have nothing to do. Also, he has a son that he probably will want on the throne. And he's probably able to do so if he stays on the throne long enough for people to start liking him. And he's gained the prestige at a much faster pace than I am. I won't be able to outpace that. Hmm. Our income, though, is getting really, really good. And this trade post hasn't even been built. So, yeah. That is quite interesting. We are going to be pretty good on, on, on gold. Let's see those trade routes again. Oh, it's even blocked. Darn it. That lowers income. No, and I just said I would be rich. Yeah, for Westphalia also goes quite a good trade line. Huh. And we are again at war? No, we're probably uh, hostile to somebody being ra raiding us. You are no longer Catholic. All right. What? All of a sudden I am in a house with in the Hansa? Uh, I want to click on. I apparently double clicked. Henge I was brought to this man. I was already like, how the heck does that happen? All right, so. You are being occupied. Denmark is doing a holy war. Dag nabbit. He's going to Denmark is going to get all of this. And in this mod, that is not part in the beginning of the Holy Roman Empire. Heck, even the area that I am partially in is not considered part of the Holy Roman Empire. In fact, there are not a lot of empires at all. As you now see I when I scroll out on the Byzantine. And Holy Roman Empire. It's also a lot easier, for instance, to play as Croatia, for therefore, or as Serbia, because the Byzantine Empire doesn't have the Jura claims on it. Now, the Byzantine Empire was as large as this, but apparently the mod makers considered that this. that to create an empire, well, it's a little bit more difficult than this mod. Apparently, you first have to create it, and then slowly things have to drift into it. And at least, that's what I assume they want you to do. Denmark is allied to Pomerania. This very, very small little county is allied to... <laughs> How? Friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're dead. We are going to request a holy sanction. This allows us to do a holy war. I want one county. 
perhaps. Just want something. Let's see if the Pope will grant it to us. We'll have to wait. Patience is a virtue. Pope is thinking about it. Your Grace, while I am assured you are a pious Catholic man, I feel the need to be convinced that with what you intend is in the name of God and not merely means to acquire more land. Uh oh. Without such insurances, I cannot do as you ask. And apparently, we have to ask the anti Pope, and we have been making friends with the Pope. Whoops. And now the Prince Usher Bill Superior of Thuringia. Lose 250 prestige. Offer him a. That donation is not a problem. I need to pay 63 bucks in order to declare war upon this guy. We could actually gain this little land. But. How well are you fortified in here? This is nothing. We can have Divin easily. And we can't really claim this land due to the fact that Pomerania is currently holding it. What are we going to do? We're going to go for Holy War, but which war are we declaring? Because if we declare the exact same as Denmark, there's a good chance that I will be too late to stand up on the county and say, Yo, this is mine now. Also, how do the trade route go? Yeah, they go through here. But I will never gain these two counties. Unless for some miracle reason I captured this guy in battle. Where are you? The intrusion... There. We're going to do a whole war for Pomerania. It will give us but one little county. But I think when this army is defeated by Denmark, that this war is over. And this gives us at least something to do in this episode. Well, we have already done, certainly done some stuff, but more stuff. See, if this army is defeated by Denmark, uh, that war might be over. And if I didn't declare exactly the same war, it would have been for not, For nothing. Would have come from it. I want you to actually be educated by your mother. Oh, she is, of course, she's not in our court anymore. This is why we cannot do this. Right. Well, after your uncle then. Well, not your true uncle, but you know what I mean. There you go. The man is diligent. The only disadvantage that he has is that he's cruel. And that's not even that bad anymore. As I said, that was a good decision. It gives us at least a war target. And they have been sieged down, so we should quickly be able to finish this war up. And then, well, then it is time. You know what? In fact, do it like this. Let our vassals do it. Not even a chance for it to go wrong. Zero percent. It was 51% for something super and 49% for something more. We got a 72% war score for beating 16 people up? Ow. That is just painful, man. That is just painful. Yeah, we're going to let win this war just by uh, the virtue of our vassals. And this is why I declare this war, and this is why you have to really be careful which um, color you pick. If I would have declared for this war, well, 
that you would have already been for Denmark and would all have been for not. We are just too late to get our piece of the pie over here. But who knows, perhaps later we can declare war on, on Denmark itself. Because, face it, this needs to become ours. Mecklenburg, yeah, that's German territory. It is. Lübeck, yes. Not like this, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I know it's Copenhagen or something like that, and not Copenhagen, which most people do. But, uh, yeah. This is German territory. And we are the Germans of the North. The Saxon used to rule, so yes, we will get all this. We must. And it gives us an extra goal. We have enough goals in this campaign, don't we? From Baron to Emperor? Hmm? I think that's already a very, very lofty goal. We have gained additional support. Don't know how for how long, but we are definitely in the running for becoming the Emperor. And when we win this war, I think we will gain a lot of piety and prestige. And that also will be good for us. And after that, we can once again make merry. Have a little bit of beer and gain more support for, oh, our claim, our desire to become the Emperor. Would sieging this down be enough? I, I do like the fact that this is not uh, like a, a tribe. It's a true county, so we won't have any trouble with that. We captured a concubine of his. I think we captured all kinds of concubines of his. No, this is a sister, even. Or family line member? No, it's a different family line. Probably the ones that ruled here before he took it away from them. No, even a different line than that again. It was originally under them, but not in this area. Alright, so Rel has been given something to... Wow, that's interesting. Yo, I'm giving you land! Great, thanks! I love you for that! Really, here, Dreadwood County! Love marriage! Going into a faction that is rebellious. <laughs> Whoops. Well... Wait a second. Oh, okay, there was already a trade post. They have... Hey, when? Visby. I think that is for Gotland, isn't it? For Gotland. Yeah, that's for Gotland. That is for this republic. They have a trading post over here. Alright. Oh, it's already 100%. What am I doing? There we go. And with that, I say... Well, we, uh, well who's going to get this land? That's the question, huh? I think another von Babenberger, but a proper one. Perhaps is not him, but him. Ferdinand Babenberger. After all, I wouldn't mind if he would gain it because I'm not sure how long this boy will live being blinded. I will consider that and you will get to see what I have done in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.